what the studio one drives it on for my home. So I might be using that. The ultimate for an artist. We have to decide what part of the world. If we agree, I just look at the form, and uh, right now I can tell that his eyebrows are a little bit off. If you take a look at his eyebrows, they seem to peak right here, and then they taper down in both areas. But on his eyebrows, lots of reasons for doing that. But that was very impressive drawing. Anybody else? Jenny, did you see anything that you liked? Or that interest? Hello, my name is Marian Seeger. I am one of the three art teachers at Malden High School. Were you guys surprised when Mrs. Sharma got on stage? Was that kind of cool? Yeah, I thought it was very cool. Is uh, time in place? Mm -hmm. So, is this going to be like uh, for the future, or is it something that? Uh, is it in a fairy tale? Is it going to be, you know, might be, we want to think about the storyline a little bit. So I like how you have, you have the two colors in here and you have the contrast in here. I want you to be careful that you don't go too, see how it's a little bit more mm -hmm. subtle. So you're going to gradate this one. I know you're not done yet. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is uh, Timur Burlo. I'm a senior at Malton High and I'm currently in Studio 4. You can really turn any like ordinary object into some like masterpiece, just depending on what you do with it. So you can turn an apple into like some crazy design. If you just use like a different shade of red, or maybe even turn it blue, it will turn into a whole new piece. My hope is that doing this uh, this piece here on uh, futuristic sort of machines that kids are doing these uh, compilations is that. Uh, in general, you uh, you know, you guys don't really know how things work, how the toaster works, or you know how the lights. What happens when the lights go on? When you turn the key on the car? This, these are all very basic machines that have been since they figured out how to roll a rock and use a fulcrum and build the pyramids. You know, it's the same six or ten basic machines throughout all of our history. So we need to have a little experience with them. So we're having some fun with that. Do you like a visual album thing, like it's a holographic music player? I don't know how it's supposed to work, but you know. Uh, I'm Angus Mo. I'm in 11th grade. And I'm Zi Chi Zhang, and I'm also in the 11th grade. On the by centrifugal force, have you thought about that, or is that uh, on an axle? How is that that uh, circle being held on there? Um, yeah, probably by an axle inside. By an axle inside, okay. Nice contract. Working on a mechanic dog, which is kind of like a guard dog, and I'm, I'm doing an acrylic painting of it. I'm very comfortable when I come to this class because I feel like all the other classes are very stressful, and this period is when I really get to just do whatever I really want to do. I've been doing art for a long time, ever since I was very little, and so art has been a big part of my life. I just really like doing it. Every single day I learn something new, and even though I say the same things over and over again, like, you know, uh, light versus dark, cool versus warm, uh, it's always interesting to me how the kids apply those very basic ideas of art, and uh, I learn something new every day. It's kind of fun. I always feel like my job as a teacher is to give the kids skills enough to be able to not only just express themselves, their ideas, their emotions, their feelings, but also maybe become historians of some kind to make a statement about how they see the world and what things they can contribute to, whether it's injustice, justice, whether it's patriotism, no matter. So part of a job as an artist has, has, multi, has multi layers. It's a wheel that plants seeds. Yeah. I don't know why I never asked you that. I just watch you make this wheel every day. <laughs> it's coming along. I just like the variety of the art. Like you can do so many different like media, from pen, pencil, uh, paint, watercolor. Like I did a prosthetic, like a robotic prosthetic, so I'm trying to finish that right now. But uh, we had to take a draw out of a hat, a bunch of like machine parts, and we had to draw something incorporating them. So I've been working on this for a few weeks. Hello, oh, um, my name is Jeffrey Georges, I'm in the 11th grade, and 
I love art. I like the feeling of my ideas and thoughts being put on the paper and that knowing that everyone else has the chance to experience what I experience in my own mind. Art class is like is one of those places you can go to just be you. Like my like robotic like representation of a human hand, like for someone who's like amputated, like their arms their hands aren't like there. So they can still like perform daily tasks. I can learn with like arts and design, I can like really just apply it to like anything I do in the future. Like if I were to type up paper I would know, you know, how to like do the layout and like, you know, what goes where. And I just feel like, like you know, it can go into a lot of different things. Um, I think it art kind of, you can incorporate it into your everyday life. Also expressing yourself and so not only does it have to be a profession, it can just be something where you can help free what's, what you want to express from inside. High school and in the world, everybody has a story. Everybody has some sort of emotion behind them, like something that's made them who they are. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. And if you have art in your life, you share your story through pen and paper or, or paint or, or pastel. It really helps out a lot with, you, with who you are and what you want to be.